हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम वंस अगेन सो टुडे फॉर क्लास 12 स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर एज रिक्वेस्टेड बाय मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इन पास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इशू ऑफ डिबेंचर चैप्टर टुडे यस मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैड रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर दिस चैप्टर इन पास बट बिकॉज़ सम चैप्टर्स वर गोइंग ऑन सो वी कुड नॉट ड्रॉप देम इन मिडिल एंड स्टार्ट दिस बट नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रेश विद इशू ऑफ डिबेंचर चैप्टर इशू ऑफ डिबेंचर चैप्टर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इजी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो स्टे कनेक्टेड with us for this series of videos on issue of debenture let's get started we are starting issue of debenture chapter so along with me you are going to write this in your notebook issue of debenture issue of what are debentures first of all understand that though in your theoretical subjects you must have already understood what is debenture if not yet in the coming days your teachers will teach you so debentures are actually written acknowledgement what is written acknowledgement written acknowledgement means the company is borrowing from public and company write it down and gives it to them that okay the debentures are being issued to the public for money and this specific rate of interest is there there is always a prefix in front of debentures that is the rate of interest by which the company is going to pay interest to the debenture holder so this is how debentures are issued these are borrowed fund when we studied the final accounts of companies we had seen that under companies balance sheet there are equity shares and and reserves and surpluses which come under the main heading of equity or which is called shareholders fund when we talk about non current liability one of the non current liability or the long term liability as is debentures which is borrowed fund means debenture holders are not the owner of company they are just the lender and they will not be called in any annual general meeting they do not have any kind of voting rights as well so it is a borrowed fund and written acknowledgement is given for this by the company when we talk about the types of debentures so when we talk about types of debentures there are various types of debentures let us see what are those types of debentures a little theory is required because you may be asked these things under theoretical question also for your better understanding of numerical question you must know some type of theory so first type of debentures are called secured debentures and unsecured debenture means there are two types this is batch of 2 2 bunch of 2 2 2 secured and unsecured what are secured debenture security means understand it like this whenever you buy any thing from um, uh, sorry whenever you take a loan whenever you take a loan from bank you have to keep some security where do you keep security in which form do you keep security from any financial institution or from any commercial bank if a loan is taken some security is kept what is this security this can be something valuable it can be a piece of machinery it can be land it can be building or any other valuable thing that is for the security of lender so debentures are also like this whenever company issues debenture it has to keep aside in the form of mortgage for the debenture holder some valuable asset this is called security for the debenture holders so the companies who are issuing debentures like this they are actually issuing secured debentures so the debenture holders are secured in case company does not paid back the money or fails to pay the principal and interest then this security can be sold and they can be returned back their money the companies act 2013 specifies these kind of shares debenture should be issued in india there is another type also which is called unsecured debenture the alternative name for this is called naked debenture these kind of debentures are not to be are not allowed to be issued in india by companies act 2013 but here we are understanding broadly what kind of categories of debentures can be there so let us understand what are unsecured debenture they are just opposite to the secured debenture 
unsecured debentures means those debentures which are issued without keeping any security for the debenture holders means there is no asset kept as mortgage for the debenture holder here it will be a little risky affair for the debenture holders to uh, by such kind of debentures which do not uh, have any kind of security kept aside by the company. Then the second kind of debentures are redeemable and irredeemable debentures. Redeemable and irredeemable debentures as the name is suggesting they are redeemed or not redeemed. What is the meaning of redeem, redemption? Redemption means paying back or repayment by the company. So redeemable debentures are those debentures which a company will buy back after a certain period of time. When this term of redemption will be told and the time of redemption will be told, at the time of issue of debenture, it will be told to the debenture holders that what time period, after what time period debentures will be redeemed. And irredeemable debentures are just opposite to it. Means they are kind of permanent like equity share they are permanent debentures they are not going to be redeemed by the company the share the debenture holders can freely sell these kind of debentures in the market in the capital market or share market but the company is not going to buy back these kind of debenture normally we see only redeemable debentures are issued by the company then the third type is convertible and non-convertible Convertible and non-convertible are debentures means the conversion of which can take place into something. What is that something? Debentures which can be converted into equity shares are called convertible debentures. So at the time of issue itself, company can give this option to the debenture holder that after a certain period, the debenture will be convertible or after, at the time of maturity, company can give them option that this debentures can be converted into equity shares. Obviously, if some of the debenture holders are not agreeing for it, they may be return back their money and those who want to convert their debentures into equity share their share debentures will be converted into equity share the non-convertible debentures are those debentures which will not be converted into equity shares so let us understand what are these three major type of debentures one as once again we will revise a little first is secured debenture means where there is some security kept for the debenture holder in case company fails to pay back their money, the security will be sold off and they will be returned their money. Unsecured debenture which are called naked debenture also where no security is kept and the debentures are issued without keeping any asset mortgage. Second type of debentures are redeemable and irredeemable debenture. Redeemable debentures means which will be paid back after a certain period of time by the company. Irredeemable debentures are those debentures which will not be paid back by the company but these debentures can be freely traded in the stock market. Third type of debentures are convertible and non-convertible debentures. Convertible debentures are those debentures which will be converted into equity share after a certain period of time and non-convertible debentures are the debentures which will not be convertible into equity shares. I hope students you have understood these three. Now let us see what are the methods of issuing the debenture. So issue of debenture can be done. You have to write all this along with me because I had told you earlier also the more you write the more concept clearance comes into your mind. So issue of debenture can be done how? Issue of debenture when we say debenture can be done by three methods. Number one method for which is let me make the diagram kind of thing over here. It's very important to make proper notes. Number one is Issue of debentures for cash. Number two is issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. And number three is issue of debentures as collateral security. What are these three types of issue of debenture? As the first one says issue of debenture for cash, 
means the company is issuing debentures to public and in return it is taking money from the public and this is the whole purpose of issuing the debenture that company wants to raise funds number two when company is issuing debentures but in return company is not getting the cash then why company is issuing debentures company is issuing debenture to remunerate someone for the underwriting commission or for brokerage or company is giving it to the promoters for the promotion promotional services or company may be buying a asset and in case in place of giving cash to the vendors company may issue the debenture this is called issue of debenture for consideration other than cash means company is getting something in exchange but company is giving debentures in case in ca place of giving cash third type of debentures are issue of debenture as collateral securities what is collateral security means whenever company is raising loan from some financial institution or bank as a secondary security company is issuing the debentures what is secondary security means there will be some primary security in the form of an asset but to be double secure the bank or financial institution is asking us to issue the debentures also the company is issuing debentures also as secondary security so these three forms of issue of debentures can be there on these three categories you will be asked questions in exam so all three categories are important in their own now let us understand if we talk about issue of debentures for cash how the issue of debenture in form of cash is possible the debentures in form of cash can be issued in three ways the debentures can be issued in lump sum issue in lump sum And the second part can be issue of debenture installments. What is this issue in lump sum means for example the face value of debenture is 100 rupees the debenture holders will be asked to pay 100 rupees along with application itself means no breakup will be given they will have to pay 100 rupees upfront at the time of buying the debenture but if we talk about the uh, issue of installments installments means issue of debenture in installments means the same 100 rupees company will take from the debenture holders but this uh, this amount will not be taken at a go means it will be taken in different parts let's say out of 100 rupees 25 rupees will be taken at the time of application another 25 rupees will be taken at the time of um, let's say allotment then first call 25 rupees and final call 25 rupees don't worry if you're not getting these terms application allotment we will understand all of this in detail in the later part of these lectures so what is this means 100 rupees is broken apart into four parts and in four installments companies asking for money from the public so lump sum means what all 100 rupees taking at one go and 100 rupees taking in four different installment or more installment of equal or unequal amount is called taking money from public in installment so both the ways can be practiced by the companies but mostly in the practical world we will see that the company Companies do ask the amount and lump sum, but while doing the questions, we can say both the categories of questions. Now, let us understand when company issues debenture either by lump sum or install method for cash or any other method, how company can issue the debenture. So, company can issue the debenture in all these cases. How? company can issue by three ways what are these three ways company can issue the debentures at par company can issue the debentures at discount and also company can issue the debentures at premium now what is this at par means if the debenture is of 100 rupees this is the face value of debenture the market value also the issue price is also 
100 rupees means 100 rupees debenture is sold for 100 rupees this is called issue of debenture at par but if 100 rupees is the face value of debenture and issue price is being discounted means the issue is done at 95 rupees so this is called issue of debentures at discount means company is offering lesser price to the debenture holders in order to you know invite them to come and buy more and more debentures and next is issue of debenture at premium only the companies which are established in the market can do this that they are issuing the debenture for the more prices because they have a good name and good credit worthiness in the market so let's say if 100 rupees debenture is issued at 150 rupees we will call it as issue of debenture for premium I hope students you have understood things till over here. We will stop today's class here only and in the next video we will understand in detail what are the different entries pass when we issue debentures at par, at discount and at premium. Till then bye have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you are new to the channel and stay tuned with us because we are coming up with many more videos 